Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another bonus square for you for our 2024 crochet along the filet crochet calendar blanket. This is a paw print for all of you animal and pet lovers out there. What more perfect than adding a square for your pets into your blanket. If you're new to my channel and you're interested in all of these squares that we're doing this year, I will put the playlist for the 2024 filet crochet blanket down below in the description box, so check that out. But for now, let's get started on this bonus square. For this bonus square, I am using, as usual, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and some impeccable by loops and threads four weight acrylic yarn this colorway happens to be the color soft taupe you're going to want to start with a slip knot on your hook and we're going to start with a chain of 48 once you have your 48 chains we're going to work a double crochet into the fourth chain away from the hook. So one, two, three, four into that chain right there. You're going to work a double crochet and you want a double crochet into each stitch all the way back down your chain. You can tell from the graph that this row one, which is what we're working, is all shaded in boxes, which means all double crochets. At the end of row one, you'll have 46 stitches running all the way across. For row two, we're going to read the graph from left to right. All even rows, we read the graph left to right, and all odd rows, we read right to left. Each row starts with a chain three. That chain three counts as a double crochet and turn. Looking at the graph, we have one block, one space, one block, one space, seven blocks, one space, one block, one space, ending with one block. So to make our first block, we have the first stitch of our four, so each block is four stitches total. Each space is also four stitches, but a space consists of a double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. We're working our block. There's our first stitch, counts as a double crochet. Into the next three, we're going to work a double crochet. And we have made our first block. For a space, we already have our first stitch, so that last stitch that we worked counts as the first stitch of the next block or space depending on your graph and what you're working. Since we're working a space, that last double crochet counts as the double crochet of our space. So we've got the double crochet, we're going to chain two, skip the next two, and double crochet into the next. And that's how you work a space. So we've got block, space, we need a block, We've got our first stitch already. We're going to work a double crochet in the next three. And there's our block. We need a space. We already have our first double crochet of that space. Chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next. So there's our first four little squares on our graph. We've got a block, a space, a block, and a space. We need seven blocks, so I'm going to work a double crochet into the next 21 stitches to make my seven blocks. So I've just worked a double crochet into the next 21. That gives me my seven blocks. We're at the end here. We're going to work a space, a block, a space, and a block. We have our first double crochet of our space, so all we need to do is chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. We have a block, so I'm going to double crochet in the next three. We 
We now have a space. There's my first stitch of the space. I'm going to chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. Our block on the end, you should have three stitches. There's that turning chain. You always want to work into the turning chain because our chain threes do count as a double crochet and a stitch. So I'm going to work a double crochet in the next three and that will give me that block on the end. Four, row two. Row three, we're reading right to left. We have two blocks, a space, nine blocks, one space, and ending with two blocks. Reading right to left for row three. Start with a chain three and turn, and that chain three counts as your first double crochet of the row. That chain three counts as your first double crochet. We're going to work a double crochet over the next six stitches to create our two blocks. So you work over those first three. And now we have our space. Those chain twos count as stitches. So you're going to want to work a double crochet into those two chains. And I like to work into the actual chain and not into the space. and then a double crochet into that next stitch. So that's a double crochet over the next six. That chain three counts is a double crochet. So you should have seven total stitches after you work your two blocks. Next we have a space. So I've already got my first double crochet of the space. I'm just going to chain two, skip two, and double crochet in the next. And that gives me that space in between those spaces from the previous row, row two. We now need nine blocks, so I'm going to work a double crochet over the next 27 stitches. I've just worked a double crochet over the next 27 stitches. We now need a space, so I'm going to chain two skip two, double crochet into the next, and that gives me my space. You should have six stitches left. We've got those two chains and then four on the end. That's six total stitches. You want a double crochet into each of those six, and that will give us our two blocks on the end. I worked a double crochet into that turning chain, so always remember that that turning chain does count as a stitch. For row four, this is an all shaded in row, so we have all double crochets. We're going to chain three, turn, and just work a double crochet into each stitch all the way across, including that turning chain. So you should have a total of 46 stitches, including your chain three after row four. For row five, we're reading now from right to left. We have four blocks, two spaces, three blocks, two spaces, ending with four blocks. So we're going to chain three and turn. We want a double crochet into the next 12 to create our four boxes. Once you've worked your 12 double crochets, we need two spaces. So for two spaces, we're going to chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next, and that gives us one space. We're going to do that one more time, so chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next. Now we've got our two spaces. We need three blocks, so we need a double crochet in the next nine. 
After those nine, we need two spaces, so I'm going to chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next twice. So there's my first space. Do that again, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for two spaces. You should have 12 stitches left. We're going to work a double crochet into each of those next 12 to get our four blocks on the end. And don't forget to work a double crochet into that turning chain for your 12th double crochet to finish up your fourth block. So that's what we have so far. Let's look at row six. Row six, you can tell from the graph, is exactly the same as row seven and row eight. So I'm going to show you row six and then you will just repeat this for rows seven and eight as well. Row six starts with a chain three and turn. We have three blocks, nine spaces, and three blocks. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next nine, and that will get us our three blocks. Three blocks, now we need nine spaces. So we're going to work the chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next in nine times. So chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next, that's one time. I'm going to do this eight more times so you have a total of nine spaces. Chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. That's twice. Chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. That's three spaces. One, two, three. I'm now going to work this six more times, so I have a total of nine spaces. So there's my nine spaces. You should have nine stitches left. You're going to work a double crochet into each of those nine stitches to create your three blocks on the end. And like I said, you just repeat this row six for row seven and row eight, and I will meet you back here for row nine. So I've worked rows seven and eight. We're now on row nine. We're reading the graph right to left, and honestly, for this graph, it is a mirror image, so it doesn't matter if you ever get confused and you read left to right or right to left. It should match up they're the same number of spaces and squares on each side of that graph. There are some graphs where it's not going to match up and you really do have to be careful about reading the even rows left to right and the odd rows right to left. We're on row nine. Let's start with a chain three. Row nine and row 10 are exactly the same. So I'm going to show you row nine and then just repeat this row one more time for row 10. Row 9 is 4 blocks, 7 spaces, and 4 blocks. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next 12 stitches for our 4 blocks to start. After that we need 7 spaces, so you're going to do the same thing that you did down here. You're going to work that chain 2, skip 2, double crochet into the next 7 times. So there's one. I'm going to do it six more times. Now I've got my seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have 12 stitches left. Remember those two chains do count as stitches. So you're going to work a double crochet into the next 12 and this is row nine, and repeat this once more for row 10, and I will meet you back here for row 11. For row 11, we're going to start with a chain three and turn. We're reading the graph 
right to left because this is an odd row. So row 11 says that we need six blocks, three spaces, and six blocks. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next 18 for our six blocks. Next we need three spaces. So we're going to do that chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next three times. So there's one, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for space number two. One more time, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for space three. We now need six more blocks, so we're going to double crochet all the way back. It should be in the next 18 stitches. And that finishes row 11. For row 12, we're now starting to create those little paw prints, the little fingers and toes of the paw. Row 12 and 13 are exactly the same. So I'm going to show you row 12 and then just repeat this again for row 13. Row 12 is two blocks, two spaces, seven blocks, two spaces, ending with two blocks. We're going to chain three and turn. We're going to work a double crochet in the next six. Now we need two spaces, so we're going to chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next twice. So there's once, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next for space number two, like that. Now we need seven blocks, so I'm going to work a double crochet into the next 21. We now need two spaces, so I'm going to chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next twice. So there's my first space, let's do that again. Chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for space number two. You should have six stitches left on the end. You're just going to double crochet into those last six stitches for your blocks on the end. So that is row 12. You're going to repeat that same thing that we just did for row 12 for row 13. And I will meet you back here for row 14. For row 14, we're reading right to left now. We're going to work two blocks, two spaces, one block, two spaces, one block, two spaces, one block, two spaces, ending with two blocks. So a chain three to start and turn. You're going to want a double crochet in the next six. We need two spaces. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next. There's one space, let's do that again. Chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next for space number two. We need one block, so we're going to work a double crochet in the next three. Two spaces, so chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next twice. There's once, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. And that gives us our two spaces. We need a block, so we're going to work a double crochet in the next three. We need two spaces, so I'm going to work my chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next 
twice. There's once, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for space number two. So you should have something so far that looks like this. We need a block, so we double crochet in the next three stitches. Two spaces, so let's work our chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next twice. Once, once one more time. You should have six stitches left. We're just going to work a double crochet into each of those six for our two blocks on the end. Row 15 and row 16 are exactly the same. I'll show you row 15 and then just repeat that again for row 16. Row 15, chain three and turn. For row 15 and row 16, we need five blocks, two spaces, one block, two spaces ending with five blocks. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next 15 stitches for our five blocks to start. Once you've done your double crochet into those 15 stitches, we're going to work two spaces. So chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next twice. There's one, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next, that's twice. We need one block, so we're going to work a double crochet into the next three. We need two spaces. So I'm going to work my chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next two times. There's once. One more time. And then we're going to work a double crochet over those last 15 stitches. So that is row 15. You're going to repeat this row for row 16. All right, so I have worked rows 15 and 16 they were exactly the same. You can see there's a lot of row repeats, which makes this a really good beginner kind of fun project in Square to do to practice this whole fillet crochet thing. So here's where it gets even better. Row 17 repeats row four, which is just the entire row of double crochet. So there's no spaces, all blocks. So row 17 is all double crochet, you repeat row four. For row 18, you're going to repeat row three. For row 19, you're going to repeat row two. And row 20 is the final row and it's all double crochet. So essentially you're just repeating row four again. So I'm gonna go ahead and work up those last few rows. Once I have that done, we'll take a look at it. The finished paw print square for our 2024 Filet crochet, calendar crochet along blanket. I just have my ends to weave in. Now these squares I'm not blocking. Feel free to go ahead and block if that is something that you typically do. It's not necessary. The only thing necessary is the stitch count, the row count, and that sort of thing for when we put these squares all together into the blanket. I hope you enjoyed this bonus paw print tutorial. Until next time, Happy crocheting, everyone. Bye.